It was supposed to be a fun afternoon of playing in the park for Dulce Maria Alaves. Instead, it turned into a frantic search for the five-year-old, a search that continues today. Her story is the focus of the NBC10 News original series called Somebody Knows Something. NBC10 investigative reporter Claudia Vargas is taking a fresh look at the case and has a preview of the disappearance of Dulce. Claudia. Jackie, Johnny, well, over the last several months, we retraced Dulce's last known steps, spent time with her family, and spoke with investigators. The result is the most comprehensive look at her case to date. No one, where's your emergency? Um, I can't find my daughter. A five-year-old goes missing from a park. I was screaming. I couldn't find it. That's where in my mom, my mind went, what if they, somebody had took her or something? The small town of Bridgeton, New Jersey, had never experienced anything like this. It caught the whole town in shock because you don't hear stuff like that, especially in this city. Dulce Maria Alaves was gone, but was she taken? If the child wandered away, time is of the essence. Obviously, if there's something uh, foul play amiss, Time is also of the essence. And there were, were uh, roadblock canvases set up, canvases of the park, neighborhood canvases, video canvases. The search for Dulce continues as days turn into nights, then weeks, months, and years. As time goes on, it's much more difficult. Now, the NBC10 series, Somebody Knows Something, The Disappearance of Dulce, takes a new look at the case, retracing the timeline, including questions about the timing of the Amber Alert. Why the delay? Um, again, I wouldn't say it was a delay. Plus, the sketch of a potential suspect, the psychic tips, and searches across the country. Everybody was waiting to find a dead body that day. Premiering Friday night at 7, only on NBC10 and our streaming channels. Somebody knows something. She just didn't vanish in thin air. And leading up to Friday night at 7 o'clock, we'll have a series of stories focused on the different aspects of the case. You can see those right here on NBC10 News at 5. And so many questions about this case, Claudia, and you have been doing a lot of reporting and a lot of research. Why have you invested so much time into this story and the case? Yeah. Well, I would say two things. One, this case really captivated our whole region when it happened. I mean, everybody mm -hmm. takes their kids to the playground. Nobody expects to come home without one of them. So this happened. So we wanted to know what did happen that day and take a look, a little deeper dive into what happened. But then two, and personally this was kind of the bigger deal for me, was we've done other documentaries on, you know, we did the Who Killed Barbara Jean, mm -hmm. Boy in the Box, and those kids, while we were amplifying their stories, they were dead already, they had been killed, mm -hmm. so there was no bringing them back. In this case, with Dulce, law enforcement believe she's still alive. And so if our series can do anything, and as it's called, somebody knows something, if yes, somebody knows something right. and they come forward with some information, it's all worth it. So I really think it's the hope that still exists in this case that made us want to pursue it. Hard to believe we're coming up on four years yeah. already almost. Mm -hmm. Claudia, thank you for that. And we'll be posting all of those stories throughout the week as well as the entire special on our website. To watch those videos online, go to NBC10.com and search Somebody Knows Something.